Here's a look inside of my two pinion Eaton e-locker that has catastrophically failed. These e-lockers are found in Ultimate Dana 60 crate axles as well as other brands like my Fusion 4x4. I suspect the failure was possibly due to improper heat treating of the spider gears. This e-locker is made exclusively for Dana and is serviced by them. The floating axles come out fairly easily and are just sealed in place with some gray RTV. Despite the failure, the ring and pinion seem to be okay. I picked up a carrier bearing removal tool and case spreader from Amazon. They seem to be well made, albeit made in China. This is what it looks like partially set up. And here is the tool completely installed and ready for the impact gun. With the bearing out of the way, the spring clip can be gently pried out and the electromagnet will come right off. The carrier bearings look good, but I'll double check them after cleaning them off. The reason you need to remove the bearing and electromagnet is to get access to the pinion shaft roll pin. Here's what the planetary and pinion gears look like after being cleaned in some solvent. Beyond a possible heat treating issue with the spider gears, the two pinion design of this differential is an inherent weak point. I will be replacing it with a four pinion unit like the Auburn Selectalock or the Ox Locker. The pinion gear thrust washers really took a beating here. They look pretty gnarly, or should I say knurled. The thrust washers, as well as the surfaces on the carrier housing, should be smooth and somewhat shiny, not badly scored like you see here. There's no fixing this. I have spare spider gears with thrust washers, but the carrier cannot be saved. The surface that the e-locker engagement ring rides on is also badly scored. This causes the ring to bind and get stuck in place, which means the lockers might get stuck engaged, disengaged, or somewhere in between. The carrier housing is basically junk and the locker is a total loss. Even cleaned up, the e-locker engagement ring binds up very badly. Here's just a quick look at the three e-locker actuating pins. They poke in from the other side here. When the electromagnet is energized, these pins push on the engagement ring to engage the lock. And this is the electromagnet. Amazingly, it is the only part of the e-locker that is still good. That's all for this video. See you on the trail.